Hi there, I'm Peter Millard, and in this week's 10 minute workshop, well, we get away from the workshop, make a bid for freedom to the leafy lanes of Essex. It's coming up next. So I've been chatting with the boys over at Ooze Nest recently. Uh, you remember Ooze Nest, they supplied the aluminium extrusion for the fence I used not so long back. Uh, and it turns out they do a lot more than just aluminium extrusion. In fact, uh, I decided it was about time I went and paid them a quick visit to see what it is they do exactly. Here's how we got on. Here we go. Sort of know where I'm going. Got maps on my thing. We're all good. So with a nod towards the Spinal Tap School of Filmmaking, we can head off through the grimier parts of North London, aiming east towards Essex. So this is the North Circular Road. It's a, a ring road. There's two, North and South Circular. This is a North Circular. It's a six lane ring road that goes around the North of London. And obviously when you're planning that, you don't put it through the, uh, the nicest areas. I think it's safe to say that the construction of the A A406 North Circular Road has not improved those areas any. We <laughs> really do drive through some of the most gruesome, uh, gruesome bits of London. I have to say I'm not a, not a fan of North London generally. Uh, people who live here love it, but it's not really for me. I'm happy to pass through it when there's that door's locked. So I'm here with Ryan Locke from Ooze Nest. Ryan is the founder and CEO of Ooze Nest. Yeah. Your firm, your company, Big Boss. Yeah, Nest. Uh, I said in the chat earlier on that Ooze Nest is a really young company. I feel like some granddad who's wandered into the, the break room at the kindergarten where all the cool kids are hanging out. Uh, apart from the beard, everybody is really young yeah. here, aren't they? It's, it's amazing. As well as, you know, having a, a, a brand new set of machinery like this. This is your... Work be CNC, CNC yep. machine, CNC. Uh, and this is your kind of enthusiast kind of yeah, model. Yeah. So it's not. It's, is it the, the biggest one you do? Uh, so it's the most rigid one we do. The most rigid, so it's the one that will handle the biggest cutting yeah, area. Yeah, So this is okay. the smallest one we've got here. Yeah. And this is when we go this small, we can do a screw dry version. And if we go up to like the biggest one, which can fit a four by four sheet on it. That one's all belt drive, right. and that one's the screwdriver is uh, more accurate. It's a more accurate system, more okay. robust system, um, less backlash. Okay. Um, it's a slightly slower system, but for the speed you're going to be cutting this machine, it's still more than enough you don't yeah, need. Fantastic. And what have you got set up for us here? You've got a nice little piece of ash or something down there. Uh, oh, yeah. So this is a oak plaque we're going to make. Lovely. Just with Pete, ten minute workshop. Yeah. Pete and <laughs> fantastic. Um, and then we are just using a very small one of a sixteenth bit. Right. A solid carbide, Sorry. and it takes about eleven minutes to okay. engrave the name in it. Super. What we might do is uh, go and have a cup of tea while we do that. Let's yeah. set up there was a little time lapse or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that leave, just well. leave the camera running on it. Yeah. Maybe. Um, so uh, this particular machine is. From memory, about twelve hundred quid, isn't it? Yes, it starts. About, at it starts at twelve hundred quid yeah. for the kit, uh, which is a you know, pretty amazing price. I, I was thinking the other day, it's like the price of an iPhone, and I don't know whether that's. Uh, I should be astonished that you can get a CNC machine for twelve hundred quid, yeah. or the fact that an iPhone costs twelve hundred quid. But whichever one it is, uh, that's that's a, for a, a workman-like machine like this. That's an amazing starting point. Yeah, but you actually do a a desktop version which starts at even less, doesn't it? Yeah, so we do a small CB machine which can mill about one foot by one foot. Right, so that's the working area. Yeah, yeah that's the working area okay. and that's got a PCB, just small, got a right, really small Just small bits and pieces. Yeah. And what sort of thickness can this work to? What sort of thickness of stock um, yeah. as, as standard? Yep, so 47 mil, you can cut way through. Wow. Um, you can get thicker under it up to um, about 90 mil, but you'd only be able to engrave that. Yeah. So the smaller you go, the more deeper you can yeah. go into that material. Um, but it's easy and modifiable. You just drop this down if you want yeah. to do that really deep stuff. And let's be honest, an awful lot of the time you're just going to be 25 mil or something, 18 yeah. mil sheet, yeah. whatever is going to be the most you're, you're likely to use. Yeah. Uh, I see on the on the base here, you've actually milled out a flat area. Is that rather than trying to level up the, yeah. the base, it's just easier to yeah. set it going to do a yeah. to plow 
through it yeah to, so you just to give your mount this reference. and then not, whatever that is yeah. that effectively is your reference yeah. surface so and then very easy when to you're do. cutting through material you just cut into this and, then yeah. and just, that's a, a spoiler board yeah or a, just keep a, cutting a waste, it when it gets a bit, bit messy so yeah. that works out well and this is just threaded t-nuts we just bolt into this right our clamps oh, okay so they're threaded from underneath yeah, from yeah. they glued in and then it just locks in place and uh just use anything really you want to just hold things double-sided tape just slap that it down works a bit, well. bit of hot glue you know yeah. whatever yeah whatever works for you. Do that as well this is uh, obviously the more sophisticated uh, yeah or <laughs> way of doing things. next level up people use vacuum tables yes and you don't need none of this stuff yeah, of course so that works Fantastic. out well yeah, that's great. I look forward to seeing the, seeing what you produce. Yeah. So you stole my my logo basically from my yeah. <laughs> from my YouTube from yeah. website or whatever, and you're going to run me a little plaque out. That's fantastic. All well, right, very kindly offered me to give me a quick sort of tour of the uh, of the warehouse and the cutting room here. So we're just going to have a quick uh, a quick wander through where all the all the real work happens. Yeah. And it's round about now that unfortunately I had to cut the recorded audio as there was a radio playing in the background which YouTube flagged as a copyright violation. It was uh, Beyonce's Halo. Perhaps I could sing it for you. Uh, maybe not. So this is the warehouse where all the stock picking and packaging gets done. Ooh, look, a bucket of sweeties. I never got that in my order. Uh, as well as the uh, spares and consumables that ooze nests carry like router and spindle bits for their CNC machines. And then we moved on to the cutting room where the stock extrusions are cut to size. Go through that and I was kind of expecting you to have like a mitre saw or something, but you've got something a, a, a little bit more sophisticated here, haven't you? Yeah, you've yeah. Got a, so this is called an upcut mitre saw. Right. So um, it has pneumatic clamps, um, saw blade comes up here, and it has a dial indicator with our stops and gets a 0.1 mil accuracy. We also manually check it afterwards just to make sure yeah. it isn't out of calibration. Yeah, you've got a good tape measure to check Yeah, you've got a good tape measure, yeah. <laughs> and then we've just got all our extrusions stacked up here. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The, the racking up there as well, of course. All the bits are really dull out. Yeah, we're just ready to go. Then, back to size. And we can also tap it as well, the ends right. of the holes, so we can tap yeah. it for. For Do you have corner connectors so yeah. you can actually make tables out of it? We have corner connectors, wheels, gantry plates, um, covers for slots so you don't want to get grubby, Fantastic. Uh, bolts, nuts, everything you need to sort of together and make to whatever you want. Get started. Fantastic, yeah. a one stop shop for all your project pretty needs, much. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And electronics if you want to automate it in some really? cases as well, yeah. Incredible. So we've, got a, we've been away on a quick tour of the facility, yep. which is pretty fantastic. And in that time, only 10 minutes or so, you've actually cut me a fantastic 10 minute workshop with Peter Millard yep. sign out of beautiful American white oak by the looks of it. Yeah, that's come out pretty well. Um, just needs a little sand down to take off the rough bits, but uh, a nice oil. And, uh, that is amazing. Show it up pretty, pretty well. That is fantastic. And that, I've got to say, it's such a clean cut. I know how oak can be, especially on a cross cut like that. Yeah, if we use a down cut bit, you'd have got pretty much none of that yeah. and it'd have been ready to be oiled. Fantastic, yeah, and that just needs the lightest of yeah. whisks over with a very fine grade. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. That's brilliant. Uh, do I need to buy this? Or can no, I buy this? <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, brilliant, well uh, I think that's us done, kind of. Yep. For now, thank you very yep. much indeed for giving me the, the tour. Yep. Great to meet you, Ryan. Yeah. And uh, stay tuned because I think there may be a bit more of, uh, of Ooze Nest and Ryan's uh, uh, company in the, yep. in the coming months. But yeah. So that's how we get on with the guys over at Ooze Nest. Great bunch of guys. Uh, obviously, they do far, far more than mere aluminium extrusion. Uh, they build CNC machines and kits and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, very much need to be. Uh, on your radar if that's the kind of thing you're interested in. This is the little plaque that they made for me. It's absolutely fantastic. It only took about 10 minutes or so uh, of actual cutting time with that. Uh, so really, really clever, really, really interesting what you can do uh, with something like that. Uh, and as I said, uh, uh, remarkably uh, good starting prices for that kit. Uh, if you don't quite know what it is you need, then I highly recommend giving the guys uh, a call and having a chat with them to see what they can put together for you. Uh, but that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.